As settlers of European descent headed west through St. Joseph, Missouri and across the plains, they encountered those who once had sole occupation of this land. And they write about in their diaries seeing the different members of the area Indian nations that were here, predominantly the Iowa and the Sac and Fox. The Native American galleries at the St. Joseph Museum shares the story of those who once resided here and all across the nation on their ancestral lands. You can see some of the older pieces and how they were decorated. Beads would be made out of shells or a fossil called a crinoid. So those beads were all natural, but then you see the progression of the trading and as the westward expansion continued, then you would see this, the glass beads come up and these were colors that were not in nature. There are many rooms of displays, clothing, items of war, and a room devoted to the peace pipe, an item of importance far beyond treaty ceremonies. The Lakota culture likens it to if um, the white man had combined the flag, the Bible, the government, their state, all into one. That's kind of what the pipe represented to them. The museum is also one of the few places you can find McKinney Hall prints, named for Thomas McKinney, superintendent of Indian trade. McKinney brought tribal leaders to meet the president and had artists paint their portraits. There are lithographs made from portraits that were done in the 1820s and 30s of different um, chiefs of different nations and, some, and warriors and sometimes their wives and children. Most of the originals burned in a fire at the Smithsonian, but unbeknownst to anyone, McKinney had another set secretly made before the fire. This museum has many of the lithograph copies. The extensive collection of stories, pictures, and artifacts share the story of the nation's first residents here at the Native American Galleries.